Certainly, I think that the hackers, the bad actors, are ahead, right? They will always be an additional vulnerability, a new vulnerability that will be invented in that bad actor group that the, whether it's a cloud service provider, but all of, all organizations will be needing to respond and react quickly to. So that'll always be in place. Will there ever be 100% assurance? No, there never will. Because, as I said, there'll always be an element of the bad hackers finding new ways in the door. If they can't get in the side door, they're going to work in the window. If they can't get in the window, they're going to go to the second floor window. If they can't get in the second floor window, they're going to break the attic window. They have to, they drill a hole in the roof. I mean, there are going to be ways for them to get in, and particularly if it's a, a targeted attack. They'll find a way if they want to get in. tell you though that the cloud service providers have been very aware of the barrier of entry being or the challenge of entry and concern being the security and have been very proactive in their design of their solutions from a couple standpoints. They've been very vocal and transparent on their cloud security posture and processes so some of them issue white papers and and talk about their accreditations and their compliance work with regulations. So they're very open and outwardly with their customer base and the community, the user, the broader user community, potential user community, of how they take security uh, and, and the risk elements uh, very seriously. I think that the cloud service providers have been proactive in that regard because if if there are issues in regards to cloud service providers, the whole industry will, will, will kind of shrink, if you will. The concern cascades across so it's a competitive element that the more secure it is the more it will use and it will actually lift the industry for that.